Hey everyone, Elaine here, but this time I am in Switzerland. I'm gonna do a couple foods around here. I found Kinder Joy ice cream. So this was 3.80 francs, so 3.80 francs, which is about $5 Canadian. I thought it was worth it, so yeah, I still, I don't know what it's gonna be like, but I'm excited. They also have Kinder Egg um, ice cream sandwiches, which I saw somewhere else, but I didn't get it. Um, hopefully I'll be able to try them before I leave Switzerland. So let's open this up, see what happens. It's hard to open. Oh, okay, so it comes like this. This is my spoon. Okay, okay. What's in there? Oh, it's a toy. That's where they put their toy. So even with the ice cream, you get a toy. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the ground. Just for now. Okay. This is what it looks like. Okay. Let's see if it tastes just like a Kinder Egg. Oh, it's a little melted. That's all right. This spoon is not the best. Hmm. I taste a lot of vanilla. Let's get another bite. This spoon is not great. But it's all we got. That tastes like a Kinder Egg. That is really cool. Okay, so I am in Le Mazot. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. In Bern. This is a um, roasty, a garlic roasty. I've never had roasty before, but it is a traditional Swiss meal. So here we go, let's see what it's like. It looks hot. Oh, that's really hot. Oh my God. I think it's their version of poutine here because it's a potato. Um, potato meal but let me tell you it is way better than any patina I've ever had that is like the best meal I've ever had in my life I gotta learn how to make roasty at home oh my gosh y'all better get some roasty okay hey everyone I'm in Zurich now and I'm in the oldest vegetarian restaurant in the world that uh, the Guinness Book of World Records has said that they are because they were formed in 1898. So it's quite expensive. So 100 grams at the buffet is 4.5 francs, I think it is. So I got, this was 11.5 francs. Um, so I don't know, maybe like 16 Canadian dollars maybe. But let's try a couple things. Um, um, honestly, I just got a bunch of random stuff. I think what I'll do, this is a spring roll, so let's try that. It has a little bit of hummus on it, that's okay. Okay, let's see. That's perfectly done. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I know a lot about hummus, so let's check out this hummus. I'm gonna put potato in it. Or no, you know what? I'm gonna put some bread. I'm gonna rip, rip some of this hard bread. Okay, let's try the hummus. It was pretty lemony. It was pretty good though. Mostly like chickpea and lemon. It was very good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this meal here. Just wanted to share this little experience with you.
Okay, so I just got some McDonald's in Bern, Switzerland, which is the capital. They have McDonald's all throughout though. I wanted to see what the difference is. So, they have a lot more on their menu. They have like wings and everything, it was crazy. Anyway, this is a mini fry, which I think is pretty big. To be honest, the fries look much better than at home. Let's see. They're just more stiff. See, they don't flop like the ones at um, home. They're crunchy, and I like that. Mmm, that's really good. Okay, on to the other things. Oh, and this is what their ketchup looks like. That's different. Okay, great. So the fries, let's see, were, 2.90 um, uh, francs, and then it was 20.2 francs for ketchup. Isn't that funny? Okay. Then I, you can order four chicken nuggets. So that's what I did. So here's the sweet and sour sauce. This is what the the nuggets look like. Okay, so let's open this. I'm probably gonna make a mess. Okay, here we go. Let's see if they're any good, like home, which is Canada. It's like almost the same. I would say it's basically the same, which is cool. Okay, I got one more thing to try. Oh, I should tell you how much that was. So, the four nuggets was 3.90 francs. Okay, and then I got one hamburger which was 2.5 francs. I think it's just like a regular hamburger. Okay, looking pretty lame so far. So, it's like this, which I think looks pretty lame, but let's give it a try. You know what? I mostly taste bun. Mm. I'd say home is better. Yeah, that's not very good. So overall, the fries are better here, in my opinion. Chicken nuggets are the same, and the hamburger sucks. All that came to 9.5 francs, which is, I would say, I don't know, like 12, 12, 13 dollars at all. Anyways. Maison de Caillé, I think that's how you say it. It is a chocolate factory where they have famous hot chocolate. This is what it looks like. And then I chose no whipped cream on it, but there is also one with whipped cream, which is here, which I assume will be very good, but it's not mine. <laughs> okay, so let's see what this hot chocolate tastes like. It's very rich. You can tell it's like a gourmet hot chocolate. It's kind of similar to Tim Hortons though, to be honest. But it's more rich. More rich than Tim Hortons hot chocolate. It's very good. So 
So we just bought these little moose things in a chocolate place in Bern, Switzerland, which is the capital of Switzerland. So I got a caramel one. That one's mine, let's see. Looks like there's wafer. Okay, and then a piece of caramel. And I think it might be like a cream or a marshmallow inside. So let's see. Okay. Mmm. One of these was 1.8 francs. So that's pretty good. Because it's friggin' delicious. Zucchini pasta. You know what? I didn't really like fondue very much. It was kind of rich. It was kind of gross. Hurt my belly. Switzerland, your food is amazing. I friggin' love it.